Hi guys, it's Sam, and I am going to be showing you the makeup products that I have been using for the month of March. And I believe I was supposed to do this at the beginning and show you the new makeup products that I've been using. But I'm going to do it now because because I feel like filming. It's the end of a long day, but I've gotten a surge of energy and I thought I would film because I'm not in my pajamas like I sometimes am filming for you guys. So let's get started. Oh, you know what? I want to tell you, I went to the dentist yesterday and I hadn't been, I'm embarrassed to say I hadn't been to a good dentist in, well, I went June and this dentist was just not that good. I know there were problems with my teeth and he just the dentist did not do anything so I was kind of disappointed in that but before that I hadn't been in a very long time and it's like you get these crazy thoughts in your head like your teeth are gonna fall out oh he's gonna tell you he has to pull all your teeth and you know things like that but I went and they said my teeth are pretty good I did have a crown or cap that fell off and so he put my old one back on just until Saturday today's Tuesday just until Saturday and he's gonna replace it but he had to file down the original tooth and he was before he did it he was like how are you with pain and I was like I don't know just do it and it was very painful if I could bite down on something I would have but obviously my mouth was busy and then he um I was so I was holding my hands and closing my eyes and it was a it was painful now that I think about it. I just was like, oh, get it over it, get it over it. So he, after he was done, he was like, that was really good. I'm impressed. And he was like, not a lot of people could do that. So um, I was just in the mindset that I'm just thinking about the outcome. I'm going to get my cap put on and it'll be all, the pain will be all worth it. So yeah, I, I went and it was so great to be back to... I've I've been to the dentist since I was a little girl and I stopped when I got my own insurance and it wasn't that great and so it was so nice to be back to him and know I'm going to a hygienist and dentist that know what they're doing and my teeth felt awesome so I just wanted to tell you about my dentist story and now now let's get started the first thing is I'm still using up the Clarins I use this as a primer it's the instant light complexion perfecter it just adds a little bit of glow to your skin and as you can tell I am almost done with that maybe a week's worth it's really hard to get out of the bottle next is what's next Oh, okay. Uh, well, I don't want to talk about this yet. Uh, this is the Dr. Hashka Lip Care Stick. It's not my favorite lip balm. I'll show you what it looks like. But it does a decent job. And so I will continue to use that until it's done. Then for eye primer, this is the NYX HD. I really only use this on the weekend because during the week, I, I apply just eyeliner, if that. Sometimes I will skip that. So I use this for the weekend. It has the consistency of the Urban Decay Primer Potion, but doesn't work nearly as well. And I really would like to find a drugstore eye primer. Urban Decay one is my favorite, but, you know, that's $20, so I want to find a drugstore one. So if you know of a eye primer that works well on oily lids, please let me know. Okay, next is a foundation. And this is the Maybelline Super Stay better skin bottle but I did put in here I've mixing sorry this is the Dr. Hauschka foundation which has no coverage but it has really good skin ingredients and then this is the Etude House BB cream that has pretty good coverage and very good SPF so I mixing these two together and I really like that combo so I am gonna finish those up next you might see that again in the future uh, so yeah, it's in here now and there was a little bit of the foundation left maybe a week's worth So I just decided to pour it in because it has a pump pour in the two other foundations that I just showed you and sometimes as a primer I will use this Revlon photo ready. I feel like it fills in the pores a little bit So I'm trying to use that up as well And I have to say for days that I know I want full coverage that's going to last a really long time, I do have the Estee Lauder Double Wear out. And mine, my, found, my shade is Sand, 1W2, and I love this. This is amazing, and uh, I have a friend's wedding coming up that I am probably going to take this with me because it has just unbelievable coverage. It might be hot though, so I got to just think about what I'm going to bring, but that is high on my list. 
The next is blush and or actually contour. So I have been using the Elf. I put away the Sonia Cash. No, it was a Gemma Kid waterproof bronzer. I just was kind of tired of using it and I did hit pan on it. So I thought I would pull out just for fun. Uh, just for fun. I, I want to use something else. So this is the Elf bronzer. Uh, uh, you get is it highlight and contour so you get two powders this one is shimmery this one is matte and then these two are matte so I mix these two together and use it as a contour I didn't use it today but I don't during the work week I just do the bare minimum uh, also if I want a really dark bronzer I use the city color sunlit trio or sunlight trio and this is just awesome it says collection one but this bronzer gets so dark. It has a little bit of shimmer, but I feel like it works. So I will kind of mix this with, let's say, a matte bronzer sometimes. And I'll use the highlight in here as well. And the blush. This is amazing. If you see this FI below, which I know is one of the places where City Colors is sold, that's an awesome, awesome uh, palette. Sometimes if I'm feeling like I don't want that much highlight, which I have to tell you, recently I've been really playing up my highlight, like, boom! Uh, so, but this is the Reserve Your Cabana by Wet n Wild, and that one is pretty good. And I also been loving to use the NYX Dual Chromatic Illuminating Powders, and I recently hauled these two. Uh, this is the Twilight Tint, which is kind of like an icy highlight. And then this one is Lavender Steel. And this is probably, out of the two that I have, I want to get one more. Uh, this one is uh, the favorite out of the two. And I forgot to tell you about the powder. My face powder. Uh, face powder, I used a NYX Stay Matte but not flat. The writing on the front has come off and it's natural. And I am almost done with that. I'm I go through powders. I don't know if that means I use too much, but I go through powders pretty frequently. And then this is, I pulled out an oldie, but a goodie. This is one of my favorite blushes. Excuse me. Uh, uh, this is the Wonder Woman Matte Collection, and it's in Mighty Aphrodite. And let me just show you. Ooh, sorry. It's kind of, it didn't break. I was just scraping off the top a little bit, but it's just... A beautiful beautiful blush I absolutely love it and I'm gonna be sad when that one goes and then other blushes that I've worn now that it's spring I'm probably gonna switch out blushes a little bit but I've been leaning towards really dark deep uh, berry colors so this one which I love is Milani's red vino it looks like this this color with the golden swirl in there is beautiful so if you this, I think this could work on anybody you do need a light touch but I think it could work for uh, light skin tones to very rich skin tones then this is the NYX blush in desert rose the ones that look like this this is like a really old one and then this one is black radiance and it's raspberry looks like this so I've been really reaching for those the past month and then for eyes so I have still been using this base this is the elf smudge pot in why not and it's just a really it has bronze and a sort of a burgundy in, in there and um, it's just it works with everything so I have been reaching for that all the time as my eye look and then I'll go for two shadows which they're very similar I know I'll wait till you see it um, but I just am loving that dual chromatic thing lately so this this shadow right here all over just that shadow or this one from wet and wild they're very similar and this is from the comfort zone palette and see I, I got I hit pan on that because I use that color so much and this one is was a collab between nylon and Mimi box and then sometimes if I want to do eyeliner I will use I've been wanting to use a blue eyeliner so I got the Maybelline color tattoo in electric blue and 
for mascara. I'm almost done with the CoverGirl Lash Blast. Uh, maybe, again, I don't know why I keep on saying a week, but I feel like that's what, that's the life expectancy for these some of these products, one week to two weeks. And then eyeliner, the Clio eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, that's almost done. And the eyebrow pencil, I can't show you this stuff because I have it in my school. Uh, that's the makeup that I bring with me every day. So that is um, the makeup products that I am using up. And I also finish off with the NYX Matte Finish a Long Lasting. There's very little in here, so I'm excited about that. I did get a new one that I'm going to haul soon, and this it's the Dewy one by NYX. So that is the products that I've been using pretty much consistently for the past month. I think I am going to try to finish up a lot of products this year just because I kind of want to get down to what I've been saying in these past videos is just the things that I love um, and reach for. When I open my drawer, I don't want to be like, pulling things, you know, one after the other to find something that I really like. So, um, hopefully I'll remember to do this video next month. And next month is a lot of things going on. My mom's birthday and my friend is coming for her bachelorette party. She's coming back to New York. She lives somewhere else. And in June, she's the one that's getting married. So I am going to Florida for her wedding and I'm already starting to think about what I want to wear and what I want to pack so um that's some videos that might be coming up what I'm bringing to Florida what I end up wearing there and just all kinds of fun things I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon bye